Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Model 15 app for Mac OS. In a previous video, we looked at how to install a wrapper to be able to use the Model 15 inside applications like Ableton. So today, let's look at how to automate parameters on the Model 15 inside of Ableton. You'll notice I have the grandmother hooked up to my computer via a USB to MIDI converter, and I'm going to be able to use the grandmother to control the Model 15 inside of Ableton. So now that I have a session open, I'm going to go ahead and delete a few of the tracks. I'm going to look at the plugins, and I'm going to select the Moog dropdown. And from there, we can see the Model 15 wrapped. So I'm going to select that and drop it into my Ableton session. Now that that's open, I'm going to go and select a hi-hat preset. I'm going to turn on the metronome, and I'm going to record a little loop for myself with a simple hi-hat just so I have a sense of the rhythm and tempo. So now that I've recorded that, I'm going to go in, make sure that everything's on the grid, so I'm going to quantize it. Set my loop point, turn the metronome off, and now just confirm. Okay, there's my hi-hat loop. So now I'm going to take another instance of the Model 15, and I'm going to drag it into the Ableton session. This time I'm going to select a formant pad preset. And I'm going to record a series of chords for myself over the hi-hat. Now that I've done that, I'm going to make sure that that's also quantized and on the grid. I'm going to set my loop point, listen back. So that sounds good. Now I'm going to record it into Ableton's Arrange view. So now that I have that loop repeating twice in the arrangement view, I'm going to go ahead and loop that. I'm going to open up both of my tracks, and I'm going to hit the A button to bring up the automation menu. Now because the Model 15 has so many parameters, they're not all going to populate in my automation parameters dropdown. So what I'm going to do is open the Model 15, and what I'm looking to accomplish is automating the filter. So I'm just going to move my filter knob a little bit. Now that I've done that, you'll see that the 904A cutoff becomes an option in what I can automate. And so while this is playing, I'm going to look at shifting my cutoff around. Turn looping on to make sure it repeats. So as you can see, I've been able to draw in automation on my filter cutoff, and this is applicable to any of the parameters inside the Model 15. You just have to turn the knob in order to get Ableton to show it as an option for automation. But this opens up a lot of creative possibilities in your productions to be able to have more animation and movement inside of your Model 15 patches.